Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a black hole effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Now for this effect, you will need an image of a Milky Way or a Galaxy image. So I got this image from Pixels. So let's just take a look at this image. Of course, you can use any image that you want. And once you have your image, then just uh, drag it inside the flow. Straight off the bat, you can add the main effect, which is called the dent. Click on add. And if you take a look at this dent effect, you can see that we have this really cool uh, thing going on with our image, right? So that's basically how we can create this black hole effect. So of course, we can reduce the size. And there are some settings in the inspector over here. I think the dent one and cosine dent, they look the best one for this effect so i'm going to use um, dent one over here and of course you can change the strength and all that cool stuff right over here right i'm going to set this to the default value for now and probably increase the size a little bit like that and yeah then you can animate the dent position so let's go to the very first frame create a keyframe on center x and y and we can just move the position so let's just move it somewhere over here if you go like to the end of the image, you can see that we will get this um, this weird glitch over here. In order to fix that, you can uh, add in a transform node to this and scale up your image. And I think that should fix it. So if I just go to transform tool and scale it up, you know, you can fix it like so. I'm not going to uh, just take it to the corner over here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to position it somewhere over here. Um, yeah, and then there, there is our first keyframe. And then let's go to the last keyframe um, or the last uh, frame of our animation and then change the position and just try and move it somewhere in the center. Right? So if you play the animation, you'll have something like this. All right, looks pretty simple. So yeah, that's basically it. You can connect it up with this media out and be done with this effect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that black uh, shape, which will represent our black hole so no light will pass through that black area so that's what we are going to do for that what we have to do is drag in a background node and on this background node we will add in a ellipse as well so let's uh, take a look at it it's going to look something like that what we can do is we can click on this dent 3 over here and uh, pin it click on this icon that says pin and i'm going to go to ellipse 6 now over here click on it and then I can, um, you know, pair in some properties over here. So, for example, we can uh, pair in the center X and Y of the ellipse. So, I'm going to right click on click on expression and just pick whip it to the center X and Y of your dent. So, now the ellipse will have the same animation. And then we will also reduce the size as well. So, let's just do that. I'm going to connect these two up like so. This will result in merge. So if you take a look at it, this is how it is going to look. So I'm just going to go to ellipse 6 over here and just uh, make sure that um, width and height is, let's just reduce that. So something like that, I'm going to make it quite small like this. And now if you play the animation, you can see that um, our dent and the shape have the same animation. All right. So that is basically how you can uh, create this effect. Um, of course, you can go to ellipse 6 and change the size over here. If you think that's too small, you can, of course, uh, change the position and all that stuff. And yeah, that is pretty much it. You can connect it up with this media out and your animation will be ready in the edit page as well. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you can create this black hole effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Hope this video is helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming edits. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one.